Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us, one big family, by hitting that subscription button. I also like to mention that I do have a private crochet group if you're interested to join us, one big family. You're more than welcome as long as you have a profile. Um, I do have a crochet page. You can follow me through there or Instagram or TikTok. All of these links will be listed below in the description box. And uh, you can take it by there. Thank you so much for the women that's been helping. Women in need of thread. God bless you a million times more. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. For others that are considering to help out, you could either give it into the super thanks, super chat on below the video. There's a little bag and dollar sign. Just a reminder that YouTube takes 30% off of whatever you're, you're donating. I will also leave my PayPal account below. At least they won't take no percentage off, right? So thank you so much. Uh, for the most times, uh, I use 2.75 hook, sometimes 3, 3.5, depending upon the pattern that I'm creating. A small hook to tuck in loose ends and a pair of scissors. Thank you so much, everyone. Let's get started. Okay, everyone. So we're going to do in long two sides of pineapple, which I already have a tutorial on a similar one, exactly same, same dimension. The only difference is with the other uh, pineapple that I did, which is one of the biggest popularities on my channel. Um, I did with the three chain loops for the pineapples. And this time I'm going to create exactly the same thing, same pattern, but with three incomplete double crochet. I think it should be an interesting one. I just thought of the idea, since it's such a big popular uh, pattern of mine, why not and switch it a bit and see how you guys like the look on that one. Okay, so let's get started. This is color. My threads go by number of color and not by name. This is four ply Portuguese thread, similar to Aunt Lydia number three, 100% cotton thread, color number nine, pair of scissors, 2.75 hook, and a small one to tuck in loose ends. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's like a burgundy red, cherry red, beautiful. Okay, so let's get started, everyone. So the first thing we want to do is that magic circle or do a six chain. I'm going to come in. I'm going to do one chain just to get me secure and then single, coming back in with a single, two chain. This is my first double crochet. This is how I start my double crochet, single and two chain. Inside of this magic circle, I'm going to do total of 18 double crochet. That's including with my single and two chain. I'll meet you at the end. This is row one. I've done my 18 double crochets. I'm going to close in my second chain from where I went up single and two chain with a slip stitch. Now this row two is very simple. I'm going to come back in the same stitch, do a single, because this is how I do my first double crochet, single two chain, and one more per space. I'm coming in the next stitch, double crochet, one chain space, next stitch, double crochet, one chain space. So we're going to do that 18 times, okay? You should have 18 double crochet, space of one chain between them. So I'm going into row three. I'm coming directly inside of the space with a single two chain. That's my first double crochet and two more for space. So we're going to repeat exactly the same thing. Double crochet inside of the space. The only difference is this time we're doing a two chain space between them. Okay. So this is row three. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I finished row three, going into row four. 
coming in the center again of the space here, the two chain. We're going to repeat the same thing, but doing two double crochets now in the space and two chain. Next space, two double crochet instead of one and chain two. Two double crochet and chain two. We're going to repeat this on row four all the way around. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, finished row four. I'm going to do the slip stitch. I call it the walk into the center of the space again. Single two chain. That's my first double crochet. On this row, we're going to do three double crochets and two chain spaces. Okay, next space. Three double crochets and two chain space. Just like that. I'll meet you at the end. Okay everyone, so finish row five, going into row six. I closed in with slip stitch, did the walk into the center with a slip stitch, a single two chain, created three double crochet total. On this row will be a repeat as row five, but we'll do a three chain uh, space between them instead of two. So it's just a repeat, three double crochet, three chain space, into the next space, three, double crochet again. Just like that. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so we finished row six, going into row seven. So I did the slip stitch, walked into the center, single two chain, created my first group of three double crochet two chain. Coming back in, so we're going to start building shells of three double crochet and two chain space, three double crochet, one chain space. Coming into the next one, create again your shell. Three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. So from here on, we're going to have two groups of shells, one chain space, and one V. So we do one double crochet, two chain, and one double crochet. And then two groups of shells again, and then V. Two groups of shells, and then V all the way around until the end. One chain space, create your shell, three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. One chain, create your other shell. So we're just going to repeat now. Always two groups of shells and one V. Two groups of shells and one V. Two chain space here in between the groups. I mean of three double crochet of course here okay so two groups one chain space between them double crochet two chain double crochet in the same space we're going to do this row seven all the way around the same way i'll meet you at the end so now we're going to do one chain and create the v okay so we're doing we're repeating the row oops my light is flicking here. I'm like hitting with my knees, you name it, small area. But this time we're not doing one chain, we're doing two chain space. So where we have the shell, we're creating shell. Where we have the V, we're creating the V. The only difference is we're doing three chain. One, two, three chain space. Um, not three chains, sorry, two chain space. What am I talking about? Space here. I guess I get carried away when I'm talking, don't I? One, two chain coming into the V. 
one, two chain, and back in with another V, two chain space, and create your shell. So basically we're just doing the two chain space in between each shell and each V. Shell over shell. Okay, so shell over shell, two chain, two chain, shell uh, V over V, two chain. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so we finished row eight going into row nine. Row nine is exactly the same thing as row eight. The only difference is we're doing a three chain space between it instead of two now three chains so it's exactly the same thing just uh, three chain space so shell over shell two chain three double crochet and three chain one two three chain space shell over shell V over V just three chain space between between them. So if shall three chains, shall three chain, one, two, three, and do the V. Double crochet, one, two chain, come back in, and do your other double crochet. One, two, three chain, shell over shell. So it's just a repeat now with three chain space between them. Okay, and then three chain, shell, then V. I'll meet you at the end. This is row nine. Okay, you guys, so we finished row nine. Going into row 10 will be exactly the same thing, shell over shell. This time we're doing four chain, shell over shell, four chain V, two uh, chain here as usual. Four chain, shell over shell. So it's just a chain space that we're changing. That's all there is. One, two, three, four chain, shell over shell. Four chain, one, two, three, four, and the V. Double crochet, two chain, and one more double crochet, creating our V. Chain four, two, three, four, shell over shell. And then create chain four, shell over shell. This is row 10. Okay, everyone, going into row 11. Now, row 11 is going to change quite a bit, so you have to pay attention. So you're going to do your normal shell on here when we start row 11. One, two, three, four chain. I'm going to do again a normal shell here. Of three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. Okay, so we have shell. Four chain stays the same as the previous row shell. We're going to do three chain. One, two, three. I'm going to come inside of this V and I'm going to do a double crochet. I'm going to do chain 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12. This is going to be the foundation of our pineapple and a double crochet. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3. Create your shell, not your shell, sorry. Yes, we're going to do the normal shell. Chain four, two, three, four, and repeat your shell again. I'll show you in a second. Shell over shell, four chain, shell over shell, three chain, chain 12, what well, with the double crochet, three chain, double crochet, chain 12, double crochet, three chain, shell, four chain, shell. I'm going to do one, two, three, four chain. Coming inside of my V, doing a double crochet, one, two, three, four chain. Coming back into my V, double crochet. One, two, three, four chain. Coming back into my V, another double crochet. I'm going to create three loops here of four chain. One, two, three, four chain. Coming back into my V, and double crochet. One, two, three, four. I'm going to repeat that on my next shell here. Double crochet, one, two, three, four chain. Coming back in. So I'm creating again these three loops in my shell. One, two, three, four chain. Coming back in. One, two, three, four. So it's a slightly different than my other pattern but close enough. Okay. I'm going to do one, two, three chain. I'm going to come into this four chain with a single. One, two, three chain. Coming into my shell and create those three loops of four chain again. So double crochet one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Come back in. Double crochet. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So now we're going to repeat the four chain, one, two, three, four, exactly like we did there, one, two, three, four, and inside of the next V, we're repeating those um, three loops again, one, two, three, four chain, come back in. So we have the two um, groups of, th of four chain, three loops, four chain, three chain, single, three chain, create the three loops of four chain, four chain again, and the three loops. So you're going to have exactly the same thing as here, two on this side, then the three chain, single, three chain, and then two on this side. So now we're going back 
and repeating again what we did here. We're going to repeat the same thing on this side of the pattern. So I'm going to do four chain. Come in, do your shell. So it's just a repeat now of what we just finished doing. One, two, three, four chain. Create your other shell, exactly how we did at the beginning here at this row. So basically we have the two shells here, exactly the two shells here. So now we're going to do um, chain four again. One, two, three, four. Or is it chain three? I can't even remember. One, two, three. Chain three. Create your double crochet and your 12 chain. Your double crochet again. Chain three and create we're going to repeat exactly the same thing. So you can just put a marker and follow through what we just did. Okay? And I'll meet you at the end of mine. Just to show, so it's chain four. I don't know why I said chain three. I guess I get confused too, right? So we started with the two shells, chain four, double crochet, 12 chain, double crochet, four chain shell, four chain shell, four chain, three loops of four chain into the V, three chain, again, second uh, group of the three loops with uh, three chain space. Here uh, with four chain space, sorry, here three chain going in with a single three chain and create again the same thing. So we finished doing the two shells. I just finished creating my uh, 12, um, so pretty much the group. Now I'm going to create two shells again. Okay, so it's just a repeat. If you need to rewind the video a bit, then follow through again by rewinding. Okay, you guys, so I finished my row. As you can see, we have exactly the 12 chains going across from each other. That means the pineapple foundation, they're going up that way. And then the pineapple foundation coming this way. And then these two have the four chain and single. And then the four chain on this one, right? Two shells, two shells, 12 chain, two shells, and then the four groups of three loops and the single here in the center, four chain, four chain. Okay, so all you have to do is just rewind the video. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is row eleven. Yes, row eleven. Sometimes my counting is off, right? Okay, you guys, from here on, we're going to work this side of the pineapple from here to here only. This is done and this is done. It's only the shells here that we need to work the other pineapple. The two shells here and the two shells here, including, of course, the foundation of the pineapple. So you know where you have your loops. This is done. So we're working one, two, the middle here of the foundation and two more shells. So it's going to be repeatedly shell over shell, four chain always, and it's just going to change here because we need to fill this in. Now we're going to start to fill in double crochets for the foundation of the pineapple. And here is where you can increase or decrease the size you want of your pineapple. Normally it's 20, for the big size pineapple, you can go 18, 16, you can cut down, or you can go bigger. Really depends up to you how big you want that pineapple to go. Okay, so I'm going to continue. We're going to do the walk, and we're going to do this walk every time you're going to turn your pattern around 
to do the next row. So with the slip stitch, you're always going to walk into the center, create your three chain or however you start your double crochet. I start with a single and two chain and I'm going to do shells. So these shells are always going to be a repeat all the way to the end of the pattern. And this four chain also is going to be a repeat to the end. One, two, three, four, shell over shell again. We are going to start the foundation of the pineapple on this side. Once we finish the pineapple on this side, we will have to do exactly the same thing as we're doing now on the other side of the pineapple. One, two, three chain because we're coming into this 12 chain. Okay, so you can do, like I said, as big as you would like to do. Either 20, 25, 30, 16, 14, I mean it's up to you. Okay, so double crochets. So I've done 18 double crochets. On my other pineapple pattern I have 20. This time I'm doing a little bit smaller. 18 double crochets, chain 3 and just again a repeat of the shell over shell. 1, 2, 3, 4. Create your shell over shell and then we're going to turn around because we're working one pineapple at a time. Okay, so turn around. We're going to repeat exactly the same thing what we just done on this row. So I'm doing the walk to the center of my shell and create my shell. Chain four. Create your shell. chain three and we're doing double crochet over double crochet so basically you are repeating those 18 or whatever amount of double crochets you did for your pineapple because this does not change um, if, how big you go the stitches are still the same until the end so either you did 20 or 16 or whatever the case may be it doesn't change anything on the pattern it will be the same way um, created uh, until the end. You're just increasing on uh, more rows. That's what you're doing here on on the double crochets by adding more double crochets to it. You're just increasing more rows so it becomes longer of a pattern. And if you're decreasing, if you're doing 14 or 12, you're just making your pineapple be smaller. That's all it is. So your pattern becomes smaller. The stitches stay the same. Okay, and then again, one, two, three. So you'll have your 18, in my case, double crochets, and create your shell over shell. Now, this is a repeat. There's no point in me keep uh, showing you the shell over shell when I'm calling it out the same way. And then um, chain four, one, two, three, four and create your shell. Okay, and then turn around with the slip stitch, do your shell, chain four, do your shell, and I'll meet you here, because it's just a repeat now. Okay, you guys, so I've done all my shells, my four chain, my shell, I turned around, I did the slip stitch to the center, and I missed one here, that's not good. And do your, your shell the same way. We're going to repeat the same um, row. 
one, two, three, four, with the tw um, 18 double crochets on the center. I was going to say 20 because I've been used to making the 20 uh, double crochets in the center. This one I decided to cut down by two rows. Not that it makes a big difference, but something different, I guess. <clears throat> okay, chain three, one, two, three, and double crochet over double crochet again. So I'll have my 18 double crochets again on this row. So basically, we finish doing the count for these rows. And what we'll do is we'll start fresh count on here on the pineapple going up. So we have one, two, three rows already. Okay, just to make sure that we don't get messed up because then we have to do the other side also. And I don't want it to be confusing. So whatever count we did up until row three, 12 I believe we leave it at that or row 11 we leave it at that and now we go back to recounting one two three okay so we're on row three of pineapples so basically it's just double crochet over double crochet so I'll have my 18 double crochet again now at some point you're going to think that it's you know wavy like like uh, like waves you know but don't worry because as you're closing the pineapple out, the pattern fixes itself. It stretches itself out to fix. Okay, so don't don't get worried about that. Chain three and do again your shell over shell. So continue to do that and go all the way to the end. It's just a repeat now. Shell over shell. Chain four and uh, turn around do your slip stitch walk like I usually um, do slip stitch walk and then continue to do your shell four chain shell and I'll meet you here on the next uh, shell okay everybody so I did my row three I've turned around did the walk did my shell my four chain my shell so it's always the same chain three now we're going to come on top of the first double crochet with double crochet one chain space into the next one chain space into the next so this row is just one chain space double crochet one chain space double crochet everything else stays the same so i'll have my 18 double crochets separated by one chain okay so continue to do yours chain three shell chain four shell turn around and i'll meet you here on the other side because now it's just a repeat of double crochet and one chain okay okay everyone so one two three four i'm on row five now we've completed row four turned around shell four chain shell three chain now I'm going to do the incomplete. We're going to come in where we have that one chain space and do the incomplete three double crochets and close at once. Two chain space coming again into the next one and doing the three incomplete double crochet. Two chain again same thing so now it's going to be repeatedly like this it's going to start to decrease from here on it will be repeatedly the same way just shell four chain three and then the decrease into the space here with the incomplete three double crochet chain two space between them one two and three So I've done my three incomplete double crochets, close that at once with two chain space. One, two, three chain. Now you should know that if your tension is too loose, do less chain. If it's too tight, do an extra chain, okay? Create your shell the same way. 
So nothing else changed. I mean, everything else stays the same until we have one group of these incomplete double crochet. I'm not going to record the whole thing because now it's just a repeat. I will come back to you once I have my last uh, group of the incomplete double crochet on the pineapple so we can proceed to finish off this end and then you will have to create uh, the other side which will be exactly the four on here okay so I'll turn around I'll meet you again here at the groups just to make sure and then you continue on your own So I've done my shell, my fourth chain, doing my three chain now, coming into the first space of the two chain, one, two, and three incomplete double crochet, close it at once, chain two. So now it's just a repeat, we are decreasing on these uh, incomplete double crochets now. So very simple, very gorgeous pattern, but very simple to do. Anybody can create this. Um, it's not complicated at all. It will take a little bit of work because there's a lot of incomplete double crochets, but I mean, it's worth it's worth the, uh, the work on it. Like I said, it's going to start to wave up a bit. There's a lot of stitch, but once we close in, it's going to pull together and it will be, uh, it will all, uh, come together okay so I'll meet you when I am done all my rows until I finish having one group left okay so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen this row will be sixteen next row fifteen next row fourteen so it keeps decreasing okay I'll meet you at the end when I complete one group left. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much did all my pineapple. I'm down to, um, did my last group of the three incomplete. Now, of course, you would turn around, continue to do your shell, your four chain shell again your three chain and I'm going to come right where we've closed off here this last one with a single three chain again and continue to do your shell we're at the end now your four chain and your shell again. Turn around. Do your shell, your four chain and your shell and I'll meet you there. So I completed my shell, my fourth chain, my shell. I'm going to come in directly and do my shell. Four chain. For some of you that follow me, remember that I've done something similar, not quite the same, but the same shape is exactly the same shape as I did with the uh, pineapple heart and pearl um, table runner, which is the same shape as this one, just different stitch. Okay, so turn around, slip stitch, do your shell on the other side your four chain and I'll meet you here. I've done my shell. I'm going to do my four chain, two, three, four. I'm going to come into this first shell here with a single. OK, 
okay we're closing up the pattern two chain come into the next shell single one two three and four do your shell turn around so I've turned around did the slip stitch walk did my shell I'm going to do two chain now we're going to have three rows identical to this one just shell two chain and shell three rows so this is one row we have two more to do the same way So turn around, do your shell, two chain, your shell. Turn around, do your shell, two chain, your shell. We'll have three rows like this. I'll meet you at the end of my third row. Okay, you guys, so I've done my three rows. I'm going to turn around. This is my last row now. We're not doing a complete shell here. We're only doing three double crochets. So go in with slip stitch to the center, single to chain, so do three double crochets total and directly into the next one and do three double crochets also. Now with this pattern you can just leave it as is or you can create tassels and put on each end which I'll show you because I already have created the other side of the pineapple exactly to show you how it looks like so you just tuck in your loose ends and and put a blocking I block my patterns with laundry softener I just spray over it and light iron I don't have time to to wait for it to dry so I light iron with a bit of steam and it's good to go in two seconds okay So of course once it's blocked and stretched out the design pops up more now all the stitches are all gathered together but I think it looks pretty good. So like I said I already have created the other side remembering that when you're creating the other side you must be on the right side of the pattern to create the other side okay just rewind the video and go by there. So I wanted it to stand out, make sure you guys saw, and I put this gold at the edge. But you don't have to put anything, you can put whatever color you'd like. It was just more to have the pattern um, stick out, okay? So basically you would turn the pattern to the back on the wrong side, you'd grab whatever string whatever color you want to use for your tassel now I have um, cute up a cute up box but you can do whatever whatever size you want I'm just gonna go with this cute tip box that I have and all you have to do is you can have a, a cardboard too so I'm just going to place it like that so they can all measure more or less the same so you do this about 15 20 times depending how thick you want your uh, tassel to be of course I ran out of that one didn't I but it doesn't matter since it's all going to be cut anyway tangled up over here okay so pretty much you do until you think you're good enough with the thickness of it right cut your and then take it out 
okay then you would cut your little edge of course I made a mess here already just gonna move this aside now you have to be on the wrong side of your pattern probably best to do it this way okay so now I've cut it so I had cut it in the board doesn't matter if it's not straight because you will need to cut it again okay so being on the right uh, the wrong side of the pattern then you would just place your tassel I think that's what you call it I hope that's what you call it come in pull through so grab your pattern go underneath I know it's sometimes a little bit hard bring your strings in from under and just bring all of the rest so you can have this effect on the right side of your pattern okay then you would grab both of course I have much more on this one right but I could always take it out because this is so easy to put on and take out um, so you'd pretty much measure it up make sure that you have the right size that looks about it fix it a bit of course now of course after you block it everything comes into position here everything comes nicely and straight so I'm gonna have to take this one down and fix it so here's the little tassels I'm gonna block it and I'm going to put it on my table and do a little video and take some pictures and the measurements I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I think it came out pretty good and very nice something different than the usual pineapple I think it almost looks like a heart in the center which makes it even more fun so thank you so much everybody Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and God bless, stay safe and I send you much love and much hugs. Bye bye everyone. Oh.